And what we've got behind us here is a PA44, a Seminole, probably one of the most prolific trainers for the twin engine uh, complex airplane. And we're doing them direct for Piper Airplane Company in, uh, in Florida. We've done several this year and it looks like it's gonna even be more next year because the, the training folks have really decided that air conditioning isn't just a luxury anymore. So when we receive a customer's airplane, pretty much all of the same things happen. We've got to start by, you know, we disconnect the battery and, and that kind of thing. But prior to all of that, since we built our own kits in-house, they are laid out on the table and inventory because we're on a tight schedule here. Everything has to be ready. So it comes in, we disconnect the battery, we get all the maintenance side of it ready to go. Then we remove a good bit of the interior, some more than others. We're responsible for all of these parts and these are brand new airplanes. So that is put away and stored properly. And then we start by running power from the front of the airplane. Predominantly, that's where the battery is, not all the time, but we start from the front because we get our power off of the alternator itself. So now that we've run the wires there and everything, we start riveting, cutting the holes for exhaust in and out. After the riveting is done and all, we start adding our components. And when the components are in, the power is hooked up, then we do a test. We find out that we have good continuity. Then the, the interior starts going back in. Now we're not finished in the back at this point, so one person starts the interior going back in the airplane. And a couple of times it takes four hands instead of two. But while that's going on, they're finishing up in the back. And then once the system is ready to go, we've already proven that we have power and all, we service the system. And then once that is all checked out and everything is good and known to be good, we push it outside and we run it off of the engine. Now, most all of these have the piezo switch, which is the way you can turn it off and on without unlocking your airplane. You can call ahead and say, hey, it's hot. Turn my airplane on at noon, I'm flying at 1215. So they'll go ahead and turn that on. That's another test we have to perform to make sure that that works. These airplanes being trainers, and you know, when you're learning to fly, there's already enough on your mind. There's so many things going through your mind that uh, if you happen to have an alternator failure in this airplane while you're flying, our system will automatically shut itself off. That's tied into the glass, uh, the glass panel and it, it, it senses because that's sensing that there's no electrical load coming in and it starts load shedding. Now normally that's up to the pilot saying, oh, what can I do without? Uh, and just get down to whatever you have to have and hope you have enough power to get to the ground. But with this, it automatically does that. And it's, it's uh, again, being in the training world, it's really handy. So um, I'm not sure how many we've sold just because of that, but I can tell you that uh, anything automatic takes a little load off the pilot's mind and it's, it's, a, it's a neat feature in this airplane.